Yes, I love Hey Dude. It's a big, big Hey Dude girl. Hey Dude, dude. <laughs> yeah. I think it's giving frat, frat boy. That's what they say. Hey, I have the diversity on this podcast. Now. Yes, finally I can say some I have diversity. diversity. Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, today, I told you last week, and I'm telling you now, <laughs> we have another guest. Everyone say hi to Bella. Hi, guys. Um, Bella is another one of my very close friends. Um, if you haven't listened to two two weeks ago's episode, I had Elena on. Today we have Miss Bella. Yes, I've been begging Lily to let me come on the podcast quite, for a while now. Quite literally begging. No, <laughs> begging. Yeah. Begging. Um, and so now it's here. It's funny because it's like, I'll have... Like random guys, like on okay, so on Hinge, I have oh, that I have a podcast. It's like the prompt is like, "What if I told you oh. that?" And then my answer is, "I have a podcast." And I can't even tell you how many weirdos are like, "What do I have to do to get on there?" And I'm like, Wait, "Okay, what they have to do to get on there? Beg on their knees and cry." <laughs> <laughs> okay, valid. Like I sometimes like if they're cute, I'll match with them and be like, "Beg on your knees and." Like, get on your knees and beg. Do you think they actually would? Some of them, probably. Maybe you should just let, like, have a random episode. Random hinge guest. Oh, my God. Yeah, welcome him into my home where my family lives. <laughs> okay, yeah, never mind. That was a bad idea. If I had, like, a studio, yeah, maybe. Or, like, I could meet him up, like, meet up with him in some random space. But Yeah, like, go like to your Starbucks. House. Yeah, go to Starbucks and, yeah, like, bring definitely all your really equipment. Quiet. Yeah, it's so quiet there. Yeah. Definitely. Um, but, no, it's, it's funny because it's, like, people always... These random people are like people that I like am kind of like acquaintances and they find out of a podcast. They everyone wants to come on, but no one wants to listen. Which is kind of your your scenario too. I mean I listen. But we're close enough. Yeah. But here's the thing, I know not like podcasts aren't for everyone. Like once I found out you had a YouTube video, I watched yeah. the YouTube video. I'm more mm-hmm. of a watcher no, than a I listener. totally get that. I totally get that. That's how I am too. I usually like to watch them because you use Apple Music, right? Yes. Don't and, have Spotify. And you can't watch the video, can you? No, I don't think so. Because I upload whenever I upload the episode it it like um sends it to all different places so like mm. spotify apple music or apple podcasts amazon whatever and i upload the video with it too okay and so i was always wondering like if apple music people can see no, it i don't think so because i watch it and it's just like your logo okay on the thing well that makes sense then um yeah we all know you're an apple music hater but whatever and, and you want to know the worst thing in, in the world that i just found out <laughs> what over 50 percent of my listeners are apple music users how <laughs> fucking sick is that no that's not sick because apple music is better i don't even want to get it i don't even want to get into this with you <laughs> i have so much to say people are like that's so ridiculous that like people are so weird who have like that strong of opinion like it's not that big of a deal it's that big of a deal to me why because here's the thing spotify was the original like streaming service okay. you had itunes yes that was first but you had to like buy, buy the songs yeah. okay those are two different things spotify was first and apple is just like apple tv was always last and the apple music l- last okay. and they're just like i don't know i just don't get good vibes from it it's not it's it's like it's too it's not friendly it feels very like just straightforward like if i had to personify it i feel like apple music is probably like i don't know like a a sorority girl and spotify is like a girl who hates sororities yeah it's giving like granola girl you know what i mean spotify is granola girl but apple music's like sorority girl apple music is like i will work a nine to five yeah okay but like you have to listen to my point of view i it was on the family plan before mm-hmm. I started paying for my own. So you're cho- you're willingly choosing Apple Music and paying for it by yourself. Okay, but they have that like three ninety nine a month like student one. So does Spotify. Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I just started with Apple Music because you know I had an iPod. I would get those. Okay. Gift cards every Christmas. Yeah. So would we all. (laughs) And then my family did the family bundle and I just stuck with it ever since. Mm. You know, you don't have to do everything your family does. (laughs) 
<laughs> okay, I get that, but it was just easier, and I I don't I. I had a feeling we were going to talk about this because I, I know that you're like one of my only friends that uses Apple Music, like, and it I makes a lot to, of sense. Like, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, though, like, I would make the transition to Spotify. I just have, like, no desire. Okay. Like, I, I'm not a hater. Okay. Like, I'm not like, ew, you, you Spotify. Oh, okay. And you want to know what? I've noticed that about Apple Music users where they're just like, I don't really care that much. But Spotify users are like, the, fuck you, yes, Apple Music. Yes. I hate Apple Music. No. I, I wonder why that is. I will say I am a hater. My girlfriend, she has an Android. And I <gasps> make fun of her all the time. But no, anyways, she company. has an Android, okay? That's really sad. Make fun of her all the time for yeah. it. And I have no no remorse for it. Yeah, no, that's fair. My dad has that flip one. You know the one? Oh, those are kind of cool, though. Okay, it is cool. But, like... So your dad has an Android? My dad has it. So I'll That's actually story. not that surprising. No. Okay, so TJ, back in the day, my brother, mm -hmm. he wanted to try a new phone okay because okay. we like every two years get a new phone okay because we have the business yeah. plan whatever um he's like i want to try an android he hated it yeah. within two weeks my and we he couldn't take it back so my dad's like fine fuck it like i'll just take it and he loved it wow. ever since so oh well then that worked out i guess but like <clears throat> i don't know why he wanted to be i don't know he was he was going through something i think yeah. you know what i mean like it was like middle school era yeah. he just wanted to be we like wanted different. Be different he didn't want to be like all the other girls <laughs> i guess not but yeah which is funny because i wanted to be like everyone and all the girls had iphones and i had nothing you, when when did you get a phone i think seventh grade okay i got one I had a flip, okay, not a flip phone, the one that slid up. Yeah. Fifth grade, I got one of the ones that slid up because my arm el elementary, well, my elementary school, not yours, I yeah. don't think. I could walk home from my elementary school. Yeah. So my mom wanted me to start doing that. So she got me one of those flip phones. I literally mm -hmm. had like my mom's number, my dad's number, and like my two cousins. That's yeah. like it. Because no one, and, like not, probably not many, you weren't like texting people because it's like. No, I try to like, b my cousin's 10 years older than me. I would text her all the time and try to bother her. Yeah. <laughs> that's like it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that was to the extent. You couldn't really do much. And then sixth grade, I got um whatever the first iphone five what is it five no. six maybe no and when you were in sixth grade probably okay, like the iphone Eight? four no really yeah we're on 14 now aren't we yeah but they're coming out with like two a year yeah you're right which by the way if we're going to talk about apple yeah oh god their phone is the same fucking phone. Don't get me started. Every year, they just slow your phone down to make you buy a new one. Yeah, Apple is yeah. a scam, and Dude. I can. T I think you talked about this I in did. your podcast. I did. Scam. Yes, I agree with you. It's like every year they're like, "Hey, here's a new iPhone with sharper, but it's sharper ni lens. ninety degree angle corners and a nicer camera." That's it. That's, that's it. literally it. That's it. Like we want to hate. Okay, we do, we want to hate an Android. They're making that flip they're do phone. They're, they're doing the, everything. They're doing. They're making a. How does the screen flip? I look I don't at my know. dad's phone all the time. How does the actual glass screen mm -hmm. flip? Mm -hmm. I don't understand that. Mm -hmm. And my dad's like, my dad's like, Bella, guarantee Apple in four year four years comes out with one of the phones mm -hmm. like that and copies Android. I'm like, oh whatever, Dad. That's the thing. Like these other companies, like Google phones or whatever, they are doing the most. most. Apple's doing the least, but at the end of the day, I'm always going to choose Apple because I don't, I always. just, I can't fathom not having it because it's just, I really enjoy the aesthetics of it and everything, but in terms of its functionality, I agree. Dude, my back, my MacBook all the time. Sounds like an airplane. All the time. Terrible. God, it's so terrible. So anyways, the, <laughs> that was, anyways, that was just that a was little our, something a there. little, our little spiel. Um, so today, I, I kind of told you what I, I had planned. Yeah. Did you come with any hot takes? hot takes? I do have some hot takes. Right, do well, you want to start with those? Um, yeah, Go sure. Okay. Yeah, we can get to those. Um, well, the first thing I want to tell you, I have some sad, sad news. <gasps> On the phone with my girlfriend last night. Okay. She said, she said to me, she said, we were talking about Taylor Swift or something. I was listening to um, Speak Now, Taylor's version, you mm -hmm. know. We were talking about she didn't really know the beef with john and taylor oh, all right no. Oh, no. she decides to tell me last night on facetime that she has a john mayer poster in her childhood room and i 
right then and there was like wow. jaw dropped didn't know what to say dude the kid i'm talking to right now or like that i've gone on a couple dates with loves john mayer has a john mayer guitar i hate to tell her i like i was like that's like your red flag she yeah. i was like i couldn't find one i found it yeah that's your red flag well she you need to convert her she listen i make i make her because okay. i drive her yeah yeah I, she's a passenger princess yeah. i drive i yeah. make her listen to taylor swift she likes her okay good well that if she didn't like taylor swift that would be like an immediate like we can't be together for me personally <laughs> i would be like i there's something if you don't like her music like i get it but if you don't like her as a person we can't be friends i know i know i agree i agree so is your hot take that wasn't a hot take that was just a little story I oh, tell okay. you because I knew, and i was i that literally said her i was like i'm gonna tell lily this tomorrow and she's yeah. like please don't <gasps> she's gonna hate me <laughs> no it's it's i mean i'm talking to a dude right now who loves john mayer so i mean we beggars can't be choosers you're right you're right wow. okay first hot take my first hot takes a little like raunchy can i like say okay it? yeah sure okay. i'm taking tits over ass every day okay that's a hot take all right well, i'm team tits over team ass okay um if you if you're watching the video portion of this and you couldn't tell already um <laughs> bella is a part of the lgbtq community Hi, yes i'm allowed to say this <laughs> yeah um and i'm going to agree with you only because really only because i don't have an ass <laughs> okay well like I, I i'm more you know i have more to work with on the top than the bottom i i understand that and i get that it's just like okay for me like first thing you notice about someone in my personal opinion like looking at them their tits you don't oh, you don't i was like, going to say their face but okay well yeah but i'm saying if we're going over the oh, tits and yeah tits and ass debate, yeah you're seeing their tits before you see their ass number one yeah and number two i just think there's more to there's, do with them there's they're f more fun they're way more fun especially because i don't like have a a dick so yeah. like I think what's an ass gonna do for me i could just grab a handful of it yeah but i i think that boobs are just a great asset too agreed like agreed. how I, I was talking in the episode with elena like um nipple piercings yeah or nipples in general they are an accessory they are i agree i think that they can elevate a shirt easily yes. like whenever your nipples are a little hard i mean if you have like you know boobs like you know like a good a good set yeah a good set um <laughs> and a good rack a good rack but and and your nipples are hard i feel like i, I feel like I, and like a elevate. dress like like yeah so a you rack kind of with a dress yeah. like come on <laughs> a rack with a dress no like, way you know what exactly what no I, like that yeah type, the v-neck that, that v-neck yeah. dress yes please are you would you wear one of those uh god i can't imagine you wearing a actually a I tight could low, one? yeah i could low-key get down with a dress sometimes a i dress. just have to be like feeling in like the feminine mood that day okay. does that make sense yeah you know? what percentage would you say that you're feeling feminine and more adro androgynous <clears throat> i really feel like it depends on the day like you know what i mean like would i want to wear that day or like like if i'm gonna go on a date like with my girlfriend now i feel like she always normally dresses like more feminine and yeah. then somehow i just always end up dressing more masculine but i also just feel like i feel more comfortable in like masculine clothes like i'll wear a dress like like sometimes i feel sexy as fuck in a dress you know yeah, what i mean like i wore like a tight ass dress to my cousin's wedding and like i felt hot and sexy but Good. then sometimes i'm like would you ever wear like a suit oh yeah <gasps> i i would oh my god i, I totally that. probably wear a suit oh my god i could see you definitely wearing one like do you think maybe in, like if you get married to said girlfriend you have right now would you wear a, like a suit or like maybe a pantsuit i i thought about this i feel like i would wear a dress like to walk down the aisle and get married and then at the party i would wear like change mm -hmm. and wear like a jumpsuit yeah that's what i would do oh that would be big sleigh yeah that big is, sleigh precisely what i want to do yeah so, like yeah, home like idea. when we go to homecoming and prom like i love like i yeah. like dressing up but i yeah. i just feel like right now i just feel more comfy like like day to day yeah more more masculine i mean in my generally opinion. their clothes are comfier oh like for male sure. traditional male clothes are comfier for they're looser sure. 
looser and like i've I don't know. softer like you know i play softball like i've broad shoulders yeah. like buff i'm a little buff like i just feel like <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. not buff but like i'm just like yeah and i feel like their clothes are just a little more comfy you know yeah i agree with that i agree with all your points so far oh perfect except for you like an apple music better. oh okay well you know what I, i'll take a win I'll yeah take a, win. a win is a win a win is a win d2 and d3 athletes do not get enough appreciation compared to d1 athletes as a d2 athlete myself okay i put 20 hours a weekend just like a d1 athlete does and i and no one wants to give me any appreciation because i play division two i give anyone who has any form of slight athletic ability (laughs) the utmost respect i you know i'm not a sport person i but i because i'm so bad at it I can appreciate anyone who does. And like, I don't even know what D like if so you D3 look, is like St. Vincent like, college, like, like small division schools. three division three. Yeah. So it's like smaller schools. They, you go for like athletics, like the low, <laughs> that's like the lowest. Yeah. Lowest is division three, but it's like John, uh, John Hopkins is division three. Like, Oh, so it doesn't really matter if the school is good or not. Like, like Johns Hopkins is like a really good school. No, no, no. So it just depends on like, what division you are in per but NCAA. But they suck at sports. They don't suck at sport. It, it's just more like um, how much money you have mm. because D3 is the only division that can't offer athletic scholarships. Okay. So like St. Vincent College, like John Hopkins. I'm trying to think of other like tiny D3. Um, Like Geneva West- College. Uh, like okay. that's a D3. Uh, what about Westchester? Westchester. D2. So oh, okay. they're where IUP, Westchester is d2 so okay. that's the one above d3 and you can get the scholarships there, you can right? but it's very minimal compared okay. to d1 and then d1's like alabama florida wvu w. Okay. like the big schools that have big money mm-hmm. people don't really appreciate d3 and d2 mm-hmm. athletes in my com- opinion compared to d1 because like i'm not on espn i get that yeah but, but you're like, still doing the most yeah you're still training yeah you're still putting in the work and the sweat and the tears and the frustrations and the wins and yes. i I mean, I didn't know that that was a thing. Like, I didn't know that people in those divisions were discriminated against and not appreciated. I mean, I'm that's so just sorry. a hot take. That's just my personal opinion. I mean, I'm sure it's probably true. dream is to go D1. Yeah. Okay, you go D1 and what, you sit for two yeah. years? Like, I've played all four years of college and yeah. I'm happy. I've played a lot. Mm-hmm. So why would I go to a D1 school just to say I went to Division One, But, like, not play. But not play. It's just the, like, status of it. It is the status. Mm-hmm. It's, like you know the status uh, exactly and it's it's not even like for the love of playing the sport it's just to say that you went to like a d1 you played a d1 sport that's just my opinion but <laughs> also like d1 like gets more money for sure like yeah. they do it is it is what it is but yeah like the first question I appreciate is like you oh thank you <laughs> like the first question all my little girls ask when i give them lessons is do you play d1 softball mm-hmm. like why like they is, care about it so much yeah like why aren't you asking if I play college softball, like it's even, I think I'm a sports management major. You know that I yeah. think 17% of high school athletes that play a sport, make it to college athletics. That's it. Wow. Or some crazy percentage like that low percentage. Wow. I don't, I don't know the exact percentage, but that's very low number. As someone in the LGBTQ community, I could say this disclaimer. Oh God. I'm not a big rainbow gay. Okay. Like, I get it during Pride, Mm -hmm. but why every single day are you wearing a rainbow? I just don't get it. This is a really hot take. Like, I Mm -hmm. I know it is. No, I I personally can't speak too much on it, but I can say that I understand what you mean whenever there's, there's just, I feel like there's different, there's levels. Agreed. Of of queerness. Where there's people who are, like, very flamboyant about it, which is fine. 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 That's. I mean, hey, you do you. I have nothing against that. Um, But I understand what you mean. It's like a personal thing. Yeah, I just personally, like, I'm not going to put a rainbow up in my, like, room. Yeah. Just. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just, it's not for me. I I mean, it's definitely also the aesthetics of it. Sometimes you're just, like, not going to, like, the the colors of it, too, is a lot. Yeah, I just, like, I don't know. I don't need to be wearing a rainbow all the time. And, like, I don't know. Is it just because it's, like, the rainbow, like, not that you're like ashamed of it but it's kind of just like you're you don't need to like plaster it and yeah like, like i don't need to like plaster it and also like 
depending on where you go like if someone sees it like it's like unsafe sometimes yeah. you know what i mean like my girlfriend and i went on vacation in florida yeah oh. and like right after that bill passed or whatever. yeah not to get political but like it's just like it could be unsafe you oh know God, what i mean yeah. so like it's just for me i don't know like when i was at pride i had so much fun and like i worked like a safe hit. environment there, yeah. well i mean there's a lot of people around you who are like within the same community as you mm -hmm. but if you're in like alabama texas yeah Florida, like i would never and like i don't know there's like i'll have a hint of rainbow here and there like yeah. i think it's really cute like i'll probably decorate my apartment with it but i'm not gonna have like rainbows plastered everywhere like, yeah you know what I mean? your entire collection of clothing isn't going to be like no i don't know some like cheesy little saying about being gay and no. if you like those shirts once again that's totally fine agree it's just personally it's just yeah me personally you do have that. vans though that are like rainbow okay that was like in high school when i was like really going through it they don't fit anymore and i would never wear them again so okay. so that was just for and i feel Olympics. like every gay oh no th those aren't vans those are cute converse my mom bought me that the bottom the of bottom the of it that is it's not it's a nice subtle touch yes yeah, subtle so yeah. i like the subtleness of it but i'm not gonna mm -hmm. just be like <laughs> in your face rainbows yeah. all the time yeah but that's just me do you think that's like <clears throat> like maybe like a little bit of like a subtle um internalized homophobia it or? could it totally could be that's okay totally could be yeah. i just i don't know or maybe honestly rainbows aren't like the most like an actual rainbow gorgeous stunning a beautiful phenomenon but i think it's definitely like been it's yes, definitely a lot yes. it's not subtle no it's not maybe it is internalized homophobia maybe you're giving me like maybe you need to like deal with that maybe <laughs> <laughs> whatever anyways i need your opinion on this because this is a big one. Oh god okay i am team not wearing underwear when i wear leggings or like really tight like spandex i will not wear underwear <laughs> like when i played volleyball nobody on the volleyball team wore underwear in our spandex like if i'm wearing leggings like tight ass leggings not wearing underwear <laughs> i think that that is sickening really that is that makes me nauseous are you being serious yes oh wow dude the the uh, female gen genitals that are in this conversation we are talking about right now s th the things happen th things are released you can't even speak you're like so i mean flabbergasted by this i have done that once and i mean camel toes are a thing i agree but also like in my opinion I read an article one time that said, like, that's actually bad for your vagina health. Like, wearing, like, a thong, tight thong, and then tight leggings, it's oh, bad for your vagina health. Absolutely. So I don't do it anymore. Do you wear underwear when you go to sleep? I wear boxers sometimes. Okay, but I you're try not wearing, not, like, I underwear. try not to wear underwear. No, I think yeah. it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. It's also not good for your, your yeah. vagina health. Like, I'm not going to do it with jeans. <gasps> that would be rancid that is, that is devilish behavior <laughs> i know girls that do that that's sick sick that's illegal <laughs> i'm not doing that but like if i'm gonna go leggings like tight leggings and i'm gonna go like what if you aren't your i guess it depends on if you have like an inner or an outie i can see it but personally i have to just really just dis like disagree with that that's okay like i can respect i respect you and Thank i can you. i hear you and yeah. i appreciate you okay good <laughs> but i cannot agree with you okay that's fine that's fine you know what i'll take the l on that one all right that's fine i'm sure someone listening maybe agrees with you or I would not hope i don't know this is one way I, you know it's like my audience is like 50 50 male female which is really really surprising yeah and i hope this deters a lot of the men away nothing against <laughs> men but i just <laughs> never imagined i would have like a 50 50 that's shocking to me i would have said 80 20 i wish maybe but they just think you're cute lily someone someone hit her up god i need to just maybe i need to like i don't know make myself ugly or so you post this on all uh-huh so spotify spotify apple music um amazon 
Google Podcasts. Oh. My last hot take that's going to lead us into probably the bracket. Yeah. Taylor Swift is the best lyricist of our generation, mm-hmm. period. I'll die on the hill with you saying that. You know, a lot of people may disagree with us, but... I think th- if they do disagree, it's because the lyrics they have heard are like, you me. belong with me, me, um, love, st- like the big pop ones, yeah. which those aren't like, I don't know why... Like, okay, so the only single I can think of that, like, really shows her ability to write a song is, like, Cardigan. Cardigan, I agree. Is a really great example. Or, honestly, Cruel Summer, now that she announced it, she wants it to be a single. Yeah. Cruel Summer, too. I like that one. um, Cowboy Like Me is my favorite song of hers. Like, please listen to This Is Me Trying, Champagne Problems, all too well 10-minute version. Like, songs, like, I love Cowboy Like Me, Hate It On. It is Hate It On, and I don't know why. I don't know why, and it makes me sick. It makes me sick in my bones knowing that there's people out there who don't like that song. Coney Island, also Hate It On. Oh, my God. Honestly, does Taylor Swift even like Evermore? I'm being so serious. I know. She found out that we were saying that, and she was like, I do, and I don't know why you guys are saying this. Uh I was like, girl. She just be given. She just not be given Evermore what it needed. What happened to the Evermore Long Pond studio session? What happened to you playing more than what? Two Evermore songs at the concert? No, she plays more than two. Really? She plays. I low key blacked out for like 10 minutes. No, that's very valid. That's very valid. She, she plays played Marjorie. Tis, Marjorie, Tis this the is Damn me. Season. And this is me trying. That's it. She doesn't play. Oh, wait. No, I lied to you. I lied Tolerate to you. it. So, that's what it is my bad and well, also fake. um willow okay so four more than um speak now you're right okay before we only had one and now she plays long live every night which is okay. so sickening that we don't get that uh, sickening but okay you're right i guess i just like i just feel like she doesn't give it what it needs like yeah. what it deserved that's fair the moment i found out she played cowboy like me as a surprise song and i wasn't there I wanted to hang myself. <laughs> I get that. But I loved our surprise songs. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. I loved our... I, I didn't like Night One. Yeah, I'm so happy we... I mean, either way, I would have been happy, but I'm very happy we got Night Twos. Oh, yeah. Night Two was better. And yeah. I love the story of us. Yeah. Love the story of us. Love. And I'm so happy she brought Aaron Dessner out. Like, I that was know. So that cool. was iconic. I know. I was like, oh, my God. Hey. which okay we need to talk about did you see the rumors what rumors that she's going on <gasps> the second leg of the u.s tour yeah i texted my i texted my mom i said guess who may be going to ohio or miami and i'm spending my own money because i'm about to go see her again i don't care if i'm in the 200s or whatever i don't care if i'm in the 500s yeah that e- no even. Bleeds. i don't no care if i'm bleeds. outside honestly i'll go it's like you wanna, yeah you want to go down you want to go yeah we'll miami go. Yeah. Okay. Get crazy. No, I'm being serious. Well, Miami? we don't know yet. I think because it's either gonna because Beyonce is on tour too because the tweet oh, the yeah. rumor was like an A list celebrity is going on a second leg of her really popular tour, so it could be Beyonce. But I would argue that Taylor's. Um, she did miss a couple of cities. That's why I believe it. Who Taylor? Yeah, yeah. like big cities. Mm-hmm. Like she didn't go to Cleveland. Mm-hmm. she didn't go i there was a couple other ones there's that some she places in to. like florida miami she didn't go to miami which everyone yeah. was shocked about and also maybe some places in california too oh well, yeah but she's doing like 27 shows in california i know she is yeah but they're all like in the same show she's doing like i think six shows just in la or like mm-hmm. maybe more than that it's just absurd yeah but that's a rumor yeah that i'm very excited about i really hope it's true i really i would love to go again i wish i could go like to europe and go to one of the shows i was thinking that i want to do that i want to do that how cool (laughs) would it be to go to like one of the paris shows stop i know listen to her play paris like which is a great song great song but like i don't know i hope i really hope she does that because like i like we sat on the floor which mm-hmm. was amazing amazing but i would love to see the show like the stage aspect like, like above above yeah and like the crowd and everything mm-hmm. but it, it definitely the sp- stage we couldn't see the stage yeah like uh, well, you know like yeah. everything that the stage was doing i honestly not complaining though yeah <laughs> my god no i Absolutely not. 
could not have gotten better seats. Oh my God. Your seats were great, which I don't great. know. I don't know how that happened. Great. I, I honest to God, like I could genuinely die happily. Honestly, I was really happy with my seats too. I, you were sitting crazy. Like at the barricade. Cr- yeah. She was a couple like this way from me, but I loved my seat too because mm-hmm. I feel like people that were really close, like row one really couldn't see when she like walked away yeah but since i was row like eight you had like some kind of i saw her when she was up on the top of the stage like the real stage and then when she would walk down the only part i couldn't see when is when she was at the very very end yeah, of the stage i couldn't see that either but like the triangle part like whenever she would walk over to the other side i could still see her yeah so like i saw her honestly like 85 percent of the show mm-hmm. and but then there were so many screens that it's like it didn't even matter it didn't even matter yeah but and i tried to live in the moment at that concert i tried Mm -hmm. not to record but anytime she walked over to my side i recorded recorded. but i was really just trying to live like you know like in the moment like Mm -hmm. oh my god she's right there i know i have a picture that i took of her when she was singing august and she was looking at me in my eyeballs (laughs) um it's my background photo on my phone i love i love it Mm -hmm. i love it did you see that she just beat barbara streisand as the number one female to have the most number one albums ever ever, ever. that's you. not surprising you. to me I'll show, you that. I'll show you the picture if you want to add it in yeah that is insane and In- insane like more and it's just like i hate comparing other like oh she's bigger than beyonce but it's like people don't i don't think they realize how big taylor actually is no they don't Hold on. and like bigger like she's breaking records that are either like bigger than michael jackson's and the beatles and the rolling stones like she is taylor now has more number one albums than any woman in history and she beat barbara streisand had like madonna 11 now now she has 12 taylor swift speaks now's version became her 12th to reach the top spot on the billboard 200 wow that is just insane and that's that's ridiculous that's crazy i know and she's only thir- what, 30 what 30 33 30 she's thir- 30 34 33. like do you think she's gonna retire soon no hell no I that woman not. never stops working and writing and i'm not complaining about it true all so, right so to segue um a then for the next portion of today's episode we're doing a taylor swift song bracket and so this is like i did a taylor swift um tier list i did a a tier list but this is like battle of the songs battle of the songs this isn't like i like came up with this idea when i was hammered on a sunday night (laughs) and i voiced my mode lily and i was like hey i think we should do this for the podcast when i was hammered genius okay so do you want to do it where we have to agree on the song yeah like and then we put it in yeah okay okay so like see it like shows you this and then you pick one and then it goes into the bracket oh perfect so are you gonna like how are you to gonna decide. add this in i'm screen recording my f- um, oh, on this on your computer oh, my and God. then maybe also, i'll like I'm so i spilled some of my drink on my shirt please ignore you're that you're just everybody. lactating it's okay <laughs> don't tell people that <laughs> um so i'm just gonna record the screen now. oh my god this is amazing yeah <gasps> so starting off strong yeah starting off really strong Long live versus picture to burn i'm gonna have to go with long live personally i love picture to burn but long live has such an emotional picture to burn though is a banger it is a banger but long live is for the fans you're right okay okay i'll agree with you we could go long live but okay. picture to burn i love you it's a great great song great song then we have hits different and enchanted enchanted that's not even that's an easy one for me how about you i do love hits different but i think that enchanted yeah also like ugh, lyrically i love both but definitely enchanted i'm okay. gonna agree with you on that one new romantics oh. versus the last great american dynasty i am a new romantics lover i love that song yeah but the last great american dynasty. i don't love that song the last great really? american dynasty so i'm gonna go with new romantics like i, I like really it love both but we can go new romantics though okay. for sure yeah I, that, that was that's a pretty easy one for me miss americana and the heartbreak prince oh. versus this love this love personally what are you thinking oh. 
Maybe because I'm just in my lover girl era, I'm going Miss Love. Okay. I thought you were going to say, like, lover, but girl, no, lover. No, but I love Miss Americana. And I love that she opened that with that. Like, it's that's been a icon. long time coming. Yeah, like, that was that's icon. iconic. And yeah. I actually didn't see any spoiler on TikTok. Any time really? I saw a Taylor Swift video, I swiped away. So I had no idea what era was next, what yeah. song was next, when she would do anything. I had no idea. I didn't know that she the transition from august to illicit affairs that was oh, awesome oh yeah i didn't know about that <gasps> then we have i did something bad versus hoax that is two different that is quite literally the opposite end of the spectrum I hoax know. is so lyrically good. amazing amazing but, but i, I did something bad did, I, I know i did something bad it, it is just, like, like I, it it's brings like, something out of me yes I, literally like there's just like something that comes out of me from like deep within where i'm like ooh, yeah like you oh. just want to shake your fucking ass yeah and yeah. i do uh, yeah agreed um hey steven versus peace oh bitch i'm sorry i'm going peace i think that's an overhated song and i love that song it like it's just like it hits a part of my brain that i can't explain okay but hey steven hey steven's just very nostalgic for me and like me me too though like her little really? laugh after the bridge where it's like i can give you 50 or but would they write a song for you <laughs> i can't help it it's like a uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay fine i will give i will i will give in hey steven okay. I, I love that one i do love peace though i will say Mary song or the story, story of, of us. us. <laughs> I don't like Mary's song. I don't. Okay. I only like, I think Taylor Swift, the worst, like is her worst one in my opinion. The album. Yeah. That's like, a I, bold statement, but I don't think it's her worst. It's just like, if I'm personally, like I'm only going to listen to like our song picture to burn. I'm not like, I'm not going to go and be like, Ooh, I'm really in the mood to listen to Mary's song today. Yeah that's that's you know yeah that's valid that's very valid then we have teardrops on my guitar versus the very first night teardrops on my guitar agreed Tear, that's great song that's all that's like i don't mind the very first night but that teardrops that, on my guitar that's what made her famous I know. come on i know all you had to do is stay versus the outside oh yeah i had to do, do is stay. stay okay good yeah love this we're on the same page gorgeous oh, style i'm style. sorry no i yeah i think gorgeous is like it's a good song. i think it's I like too it. over repeated if that makes sense like like the lyrics like okay that's just me no that's i get that like after the f- 17th he's so good yeah. i'm like okay move on please yeah i also just love st- like style is so the, like the the beat that it has it's like the catwalk beat and you're like oh. yes yeah i get it i get it I know places cowboy like me. Cowboy like me. <laughs> I love. I know. I like, love. I know places though. I do. I that, love. That, I'm sorry. Some of her songs are so queer coded, and that song is queer coded. Cowboy like me. No. Oh, I know, I know places. places. That's about Harry Styles. Queer coded. A lot of her songs are queer coded. If I had to be honest. I'm not even gonna get into that. Forever and always versus anti hero. Two very different. Fun fact, um, the, my first boyfriend I ever broke up with in eighth grade going to freshman year, I'd listen to Forever and Always and I'd cry because he used to say that when we were in eighth grade. Oh, eighth grade. You know exactly who t- it is. Yeah. What a time. You know who the ex is? Oh, <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, my God. I'm dead. But yeah, so I used to listen to that when I was in eighth grade because, you know, we were in eighth grade and I thought it was the worst thing in my life that my eighth grade boyfriend yeah. broke up with me. Mm-hmm. So that song has a special place in my heart. But anti-hero anti-hero is pretty iconic i'm gonna go anti-hero personally what are you gonna i'll do? go anti-hero too. all right all i right. just have a deep con- deep rooted connection yeah no i get song. that <gasps> bye bye baby and new year's day new year's day new year's day i love that song. new year's day i, I definitely think i think cry that, every single time i listen to that song. I, that's like i'm shocked it's on reputation but i, I love that it's I'm the last ha- one because yes. then it like transitions into her lover girl era yeah for sure i also the lyric you squeeze my hand three times in the back of the taxi sobbed the first time i heard that because it's like my mom always used to squeeze my hand three times to tell me like i love, love you. you my girlfriend and i do that isn't that so cute oh god <laughs> i love that song though great song 
Champagne problems versus glitch. Champagne problems. Is that even a question? I love the song glitch. I love glitch, but come on. Champagne I know. problems. Okay, I know. I hate that these are put against each other. It makes me want to kill myself. But okay. I'm going to agree with you, but I love glitch because it's like the best like explanation and it like I understand what she like we were just supposed to be we were supposed to just be friends yeah and now we're like fucking i agree and now like i'm gonna i get agree you. but champagne problems is like <clears throat> I know. wow i can't like i can't mar- marry I, I can't marry you like come on i know okay i know i'm gonna i will you. say i had to listen to midnights multiple times until i really really like mm-hmm. really liked it yeah that's so. fair I had a couple listens. Yeah. But as long as you're like there now. Oh my God. I love Midnight's. But it took me a couple listens for sure. Lover versus Blank Space. (laughs) (laughs) No. Oh no. I hate to do this. I think I have to go Blank Space. I think I might have to agree. (laughs) Oh, this, this is fucked up. This, this is, is criminal. Up. Lover versus Blank Space. Listen, Blank Space is iconic because she was really like, fuck the media, fuck everybody. Yeah. I'm going to write a song about And I'm going to scream that song. Yeah, and how lungs. it click. I yeah. love the pen click. Okay, yeah. But Lover. But I know, but, but Lover. But Lover is played at weddings. It's, it's just the most beautiful love song. Love that song. I know. Like, I would literally, if I ever get married, me. I would have... P- lover like piano played while yeah. i walked down the aisle yeah no yeah so i'm like fuck i don't know which one to I pick know. here i'm i think we gotta go blank space though okay we'll go blank space because we got a lot of songs to go through superstar i love superstar and i feel like people don't recognize it enough i i don't recognize it enough and i'm being i'm being honest about it i'm i'm a new superstar stan like whenever okay. so t- you like the taylor's, taylor's version, version came okay. out i was like i like re I rediscovered it. But We Are Never Getting Back Together is what transitioned her from country to pop. I feel like it's your bias because you don't, you probably don't really understand Superstar. Like you haven't listened to it enough. I I know. I'm sorry. I'm still going with We Are Never Getting Back Together. All right. You've given me a couple. I'll give you this one. Thank you. Bigger than the whole sky place oh. in this world. Ouch. I'm going to go a place in this world. Um, I'm going to go bigger than the whole sky. Um, because I have a cousin that had a miscarriage and that Mm. song came out and she said it reminds her of that. Yeah, I know a lot of women were. Yeah, and they think Taylor had one, which I don't know. I'm not going to speculate because that's not my business. Yeah, I know that is what people were saying too, but then people were like, it's talking about, she had a friend growing up who died whenever he was like too soon. That's terrible. So... So per- okay. me personally, I'm going to go bigger than the whole sky. We'll do that. We'll, we can do that. The Moment I Knew versus King of My Heart. King of My Heart. Love yeah. that song. That's one of my that's, favorite songs. Oh, that's the like schoolgirl crush drinking. Yeah, yeah. beer that plastic oh, cups. Oh, yeah. Mm, that mm-hmm. banger. Yeah. Long Story Short versus Getaway Car. Getaway Car. Yeah, I am going to agree, but I do want to say it's not an easy decision for me. I am I love Long it. Story Short, but I absolutely... I, this she, is making me realize I may be... You might be a reputation, reputation girl. Early, yeah. But, like, I love Long Story Short, but Getaway Car when it's, like, Jaguar. Like, I love how she yeah, said the Jaguar. car. Uh, uh, Jaguar. Yeah, Jaguar. Yeah, that's just... And, like... My favorite lyric, though, in Long Story Short is, like... Um, I just love how it talks about how she just like threw out her swords and her daggers and now she's like safe in this home and they're like fighting together and like okay, yeah. they're prepared if like they come at her but getaway car like transcends me agreed and honestly I think getaway car could have been a single it should we could have talk we could talk about that but whatever we won't <laughs> but just no oh. oh don't blame me versus begin again I do love Begin Again, but I think I overplayed it whenever I was younger. I love Begin Again. I love that song. But don't blame me. I'll, if you want to go that, I'll go that. Because I'm going I love that. both of them. Okay. I'm going Don't Blame Me. For okay. Sure. We, could go, we could go with that. But yeah. I love Begin Again. Yeah. Woulda, coulda, shoulda, and ours. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Really? <laughs> I love ours. I love that song. I love ours. But I love Woulda, coulda, shoulda, so we'll go that. But okay. I'm just... I Give me back re- my girlhood. It was mine first. Are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me? 
I agree, but like something about ours, it's just like the fact like it was had to. I don't know. It was just like not originally on the album, and then yeah, I found it. I like, still like it, but I think it expl- I, I I don't know. I just really really when like you that put would have could have should have on a plate in front of my face, I'm gonna choose it. Okay, okay, fair, fair, fair. Okay, valid. I just had to think for a sec. The last La- time the versus l- stay beautiful. The last time. I don't. Even yeah. Know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. This is me trying versus I knew your trouble. This, this is, is me, me trying. trying. That is one of my favorite songs. It, it hits a little too close to home. Oh, a little too close. It's it's, it's rancid. Yeah, we're gonna. That's not even discussion. No. Marjorie versus coming with the rain. Um, I don't care which one we go with. It yeah. Like- probably I like the Mar. I like Marjorie's. Um, like the the meaning her, behind her, it better. Her grandma singing yeah. in the back. Or great I love, grandma, I'm not I, sure which yeah. one is it. Um, I think her grandma. Okay, I I'm do, good with Marjorie. I, but I think I want to choose a come in with the rain. I I, I like playing I, it on the top. I have no like I have All no right. preference. So whatever one you want to go with. Come in with the rain. Ooh, Ooh, Cornelia Street versus Epiphany. I gotta go Cornelia. Me too. Okay, I do. But here's the thing: I love Epiphany. I think it is a gorgeous song. Yeah, but versus Cornelia Street, that's just that song just once again transcends me love cornelia street yeah. i love it then we have message in a bottle versus breathe listen if message in a bottle would have came out when red came out when call me call me maybe and all those songs were popular that would have been the number one song for months yeah i don't like it now. i de- yeah no i hate it so we can <laughs> breathe but if it would have came don't even lie when yeah. it would have came out when call me maybe and all those songs were mm-hmm. like that, that was vibe, the era that yeah. was the era she should have released it then it would have been a number one song for months yeah. i guarantee it. i think i've listened to that song maybe a total of like three times in my life message like i just uh, message in a bar, uh, 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 like yeah i definitely could see it I, I could back see, then back then 2012 when red, yeah when i had on. my ipod yeah. and i bought oh red, that would have like, that would have smacked i would have shook my ass i would have shook my ass when i was yeah. 10 11 to that yeah. song yep but we have to go breathe <laughs> yeah anyways <laughs> innocent versus state of grace mm, i right. love state of grace so now here's the thing innocent gets a lot of shit because of i think the production of it and how it's like like kind of this like eerie song yeah but i think that the message of it is also really great but just in terms of listenability listen listenableness mm-hmm. i'll go state of grace with you for this Me one too oh great i love state of grace it is a really good one the acoustic version's awesome oh i love that one i wish it was like <laughs> out of the woods versus karma oh bitch i i'm a karma stan and people, i'm a karma stan too. people did not like it at first people were like what is this same with vigilante shit people were like hating on that i, I also believe in karma so maybe it's just that yeah dude out of the woods come i think on. i know. okay i'm gonna go out of the woods but just know i love karma with a deep passion i love karma i'm not a karma hater no. i love karma no this is a hard one for me but i'm trying to you know i just feel like this could take five hours this totally really could. thought but we but have to like, go with the gut and then the music video of out of the woods i know like come on i know she also kind of ruined karma with ice spice i hate oh, that version yeah, that's exactly why i'm not picking karma yeah. because i facts like please yeah i hate that version i don't yeah. know why she did that <gasps> dress versus august okay i have to go august however just know that dress is a very very good song i'm going to go on august too mm-hmm. but i need you to know that dress mm-hmm. has something that that's- has a little like honestly like i may have sex to that song yeah like I she never, has a couple in there i the never false god is like uh, agreed yeah like i will i never had sex to taylor swift but i would have sex to dress yeah but honestly it's a little only bought this dress so you could take it off it just gives me it just gives hey me- <laughs> hey <laughs> But then also canceled my plans just in case you called. You know how many times I've done that for Me a too. stupid boy? I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No, agreed. August for sure. Yeah. It's just. But it, dress, it's, come on. I know. Our song. Versus, our song. <laughs> our song versus our Gold song, Rush. 
fun fact, our <laughs> song is my walk-up song for so- college softball. I go up to hit and I... The Gold b- Rush is a good song. I know, but our song is one of my top five favorite songs. I go up there with my softball bat when I hit on the guitar part and I play the guitar with my bat. That is so... Say it. Gay. <laughs> Listen, I don't really care because it gets me hyped up and everybody in the dugout sings it. Okay. I am going to because it is so iconic and I'm going to, I'm never going to skip our song. Maybe I'll skip Gold Rush sometimes. Agreed. Agreed. All right. It's a (laughs) fucking banger. I can't. Endgame versus nice to have Endgame. I don't like it's nice to have a friend. I like it's nice to have a friend. Really? Are you choosing that over Endgame? No, no, no. I'm just saying that I like it. Okay have conversation end game for sure but is this oh never mind okay we're good <laughs> um 15 versus daylight <gasps> i'm going 15 it's so iconic oh but daylight i love daylight, daylight. it's just such it's i don't want to look at anything else now no, that no, i've saw you. you i don't want to think of anything else now that i've thought of you come on but 15 is the perfect song to describe when you're 15 years old. But we're not 15 and- anymore. We're in our daylight okay. eras. We're- okay, you're right. You're right, but you were banging your ass to 15 when you yeah, were 15. Yeah, but I'm banging my ass now to Lily, I know exactly. You wanted a football senior when you were a freshman in high school to fall in love with you like 15. And uh, it yeah. take you on a drive. I did. I did. Okay, I did. Yeah. But I also want to be thinking about a man now and saying i don't want to think of anything else now that i thought okay of fine you. okay uh, house uh, rolls daylight. We'll go daylight okay <laughs> okay <laughs> fine all right so that completes the first round wow okay so so now we're we're, we're round forgetting two. i feel like we're only doing one side we do we have this side and then we have a whole another side oh okay yeah okay um i'm going long live so. long live versus enchanted long I th- live i think this is gonna get a little faster now yes absolutely long live then we have r- New Romantics versus This Love. New Romantics. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I love This Love, but I do. Romantics. I do, but yeah. I did something bad versus Hey Steven. I did, I did something, something bad. bad. Yeah. Oh good. Then we have Story of Us, Teardrops on My Guitar. <gasps> oh, that's fucking hard. Ooh. I'm going to be honest. I listen to the Story of Us more. Then teardrops on my guitar, but I really yeah. love both, so I'll be happy with either one we pick. Story of Us, I'm leaning okay, more towards. Perfect, and that was but our, just know that that's was our no- surprise song. Yeah, and it, it definitely has a more of an emotional meaning now that it was a surprise song. Agreed. Okay. Um, all you had to do was stay versus style. Why do we keep getting the same album? I, I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm going style. I'm gonna do style too. It's just, it's just, it's such, such a, a such a good song. Such a good song. Cowboy like me versus Santa Hero. Cowboy, Cowboy like, like me. me. Obviously. Such God, a good I'm song. so glad we're on the same page with that. That would be a real <gasps> butt cruncher. Oh, New Year's Day this makes me want to kill problems. myself. Now, <laughs> I'm still gonna go champagne problems. Cause I feel like I've relate to that more because not that i've like wanted to i said <laughs> not no even to marriage, propo- proposed to but i feel like i've just been there where i'm like i'm a not like i don't want to be with this person like i'm not enough for them i yeah. want to break up with them yeah like i've You've been experienced more champagne recently. problems more than a new year's day scenario yeah, for sure like okay. i've just been there like where right, i'm we like can do new Year- we can do uh champagne problems thank you it's a very iconic song Blank space blank versus space. you're never ever getting back together in blank space for the win yeah. every time. King of my heart versus bigger than the whole sky. King, King of my, my heart. heart. Yep. King so God, we're on the same. Heart. This would be so. This would be bad if we Ooh. weren't on the same page. Oh, getaway car versus don't blame me. I'm going with no, don't blame me, but just know in my heart that that was a hard decision. <laughs> just know it was a hard decision, but it took me three seconds yeah. to make it. Um. Okay. I'm gonna go. Okay, I think don't ooh. blame me. Your love made me crazy. Like, yeah, come on, come on. But nothing. Okay, fine. I'm going. But also feel like getaway car. How the fact that in her, <clears throat> um, what's it called? Documentary when she made that bridge in I point know. three seconds is ridiculous. I know. I she know. was like dun dun dun, and then she made it. I know. Like, come on. I know. But, but we'll go. Bl- don't blame me. I'll go with that. It's just too iconic. I just had to bring that up. Yeah, no, that's fair. 
what if what could have should have versus the last time and we're i'm gonna go what it could have should have oh she's ruby sleeping good thank god <laughs> this is me trying versus coming this with the rain trying. yep i know i get but it we know we know cornelia street versus breathe cornelia, cornelia street, street. Are we a red? Are we red haters? We have no red. I know. I'm not a red hater. I don't know. I'm choosing out of the woods versus state of grace. I'll I'm choose choosing out of the woods okay. too. I don't have anything against state of grace. No, me nor either. do I have anything against the red album. It's just really turning out that I'm not choosing it as frequent. I know. Maybe I thought, I the thought other red side. was my number one. The other side might have a lot okay. more options. Our song versus August. We're about to fight. <laughs> We are about to square up because you're going to pick August and I'm going to pick our song because the, our song cannot be let go this early in this bracket. Girl, here's the thing. Okay, I get it. August has better better lyrics, more mature lyrics, but our song. But bro. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Hear me out. Hear me out. Our or August is about a girl who is just she would just do anything for this person that she loves and and he isn't even giving her the light of day and you know how many times i've done that (laughs) you know how many times i've done that where i have canceled my plans just just in case girl you know i did that too in high school all you know precisely who i did that for too yeah precisely precisely very much but our song it's iconic our song is iconic there's just nothing else to say except our song is a slamming screen door sneaking out late to have an on your window you with g- that little that twangy little guitar oh fine no 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 we can rock paper scissors for it okay <laughs> okay you won fair right. and square august i'm gonna cry later i'm yeah. sick that's fine it's fine just know everybody knows <laughs> i love our song okay and game versus daylight i'm gonna go daylight Daylight. yep do i like lover more than i thought i did yeah maybe you do new romantics versus long live long live. on long live yeah i'll go long live yeah then we have i did something bad versus the story of us which i don't like this this is hard <laughs> I have no words because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Ooh, because they both make me do, like do a yeah, and like bang. the but okay, I'm picking the story of us because the build up in that song goes crazy. Okay. Like I if you first you listen to the story of us, like you're like, this, oh, and it like builds yeah. up. And like so I love how things. she goes next chapter. Yeah. Like I love that. Okay. I can. Yeah. Okay. I forgot how this is going to get harder as we get, you know, closer into the middle. Oh, Style versus Cowboy Like Me. Cowboy Like Me. It's my all-time favorite song of Taylor Swift. I have to choose it. That's I, how I feel about ours. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, but Style, bro? I know. I know. I know. But you... How do you interpret Cowboy Like Me? Like, what do you think about whenever you listen to that song? I think about... Okay, so they're talking about, like, a bandit. You're a bandit like me. And your i okay i interpret it as this person it's kind of like you're just hooking up but one person wanted more and the other person did it but you both played it off like it was like just something physical but the one person is kind of just like that's why you relate no (laughs) that is why i love the song because it's it is so lear it's just the lyrics are so intricate that it's like you you don't know what it's about until you actually dissect them and that's what makes a good song okay i just i just want you to fight for it i i will i will fight in the <laughs> trenches i will shoot a gun for a cowboy like oh, me please. <laughs> <laughs> i'm dead blank space versus champagne problems this is gonna get hard because now we're really gonna have to fight for our lives in the beginning it was just like okay fine yeah um I'll go champagne problems. But I I also could go blank space. Okay. I feel like I'm going to go blank space here. I know I was fighting for champagne problems. But I feel like I have to be more in the mood to listen to champagne problems than blank space. Blank space can go on and I'm leaving it on. Like the radio, I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. In the store, oh, yes. Yeah. But I feel like I would have to be like 
oh i'm like champagne the- problems like oh fuck i'm sad now yeah like fuck like damn now i have to keep listening to sad music yeah okay i can agree with blank space with you on that one i can i can get jiggy with that king of my heart was, <laughs> don't blame me <laughs> i think i'm gonna go i could go either so you can this you can do whatever one you're kind of leaning more towards. Okay, I think I'm gonna do "Don't Blame Me" because when she performs it live on yeah. the Reputation, you know exactly yeah, when know she's exactly. like doing all that. Yeah, and she's like on the ground. Yeah, and she's like, yeah, don't yeah. blame me. And then, like, yeah, like she transitioned. Oh, for what, what you? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. <laughs> what if could have showed up versus this is me trying? I'm sorry, I'm. G- we can do this is me trying. Okay. But I love no. it. Yeah. That's. Thank you. Yeah. No, we can do that. Cornelia Street versus Out of the Woods. I'm going out of the woods. <laughs> All right. Okay. Just which one? You want Cornelia Street? Why? Like, I would never walk this street again. Like, I hope I never lose you. I hope this never ends. And it's ta- it's like talking yeah. about like the little moments that they had and like how and you'll how never go back to are. that place again. Yeah. And that in its core is relatable. But also out of the woods is relatable because she's repeating the course so many times because it's like there's so much there's so much anxiety. And if, yes. if there was one thing about me, it's that I'm going to have anxiety. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so um, which who do you think Cornelia Street is about? Joe. OK, they had a I was just wondering. Are you one of like the Kaler people? I low key. Oh, okay. That's I don't sick. like push it on people, but do I totally think it maybe could have happened at one point? I think there's a chance for sure. For sure, but I'm not gonna be like it happened. You know yeah. what I mean? But I definitely it, there's there is some, some there's something going on. There's some evidence out there, yeah. and honestly, good for her. If Maroon comes up, that is a gay ass song. You think? It's literally who has a vi- who has what man that you know has a Harry vi- Styles. Listen, hear me out for a second. Because he's here. gay. Hear me out for a second here. He's a little fruitcake. It's literally no hate. The one lyric is like barefoot dancing in yeah. New York. There's a literal photo of them dancing barefoot in New York. I understand that, but who has a vinyl? shelf and incense that's a man that's harry styles okay well the call the the martha's only collarbone there is a photo of taylor and harry with a fan and she has a hickey right on her collarbone come (laughs) on i know right okay okay i get that but there's just some wonderland you cannot tell me that is not harry styles grew up in cheshire and she says cheshire cat smile and he has green eyes fine i'm just saying some of her songs could be queer code oh the very first night is queer coded. Yeah, it should say she instead of you. It literally, um, it rhymes. what they whispered. You don't know yeah. how much I, I miss her, her, but it not should you. say you. Yeah, no, 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 it I'm, says you. It says you, but it should, should say, say her. her. Yeah. Do I think Taylor Swift is a little fruity? Sure. Yes. I think we all are a little bit. Oh, for sure. But I definitely th- there is some suspicion that I think she dated or had a sexual relationship with carly claus yeah and diana Agron. <clears throat> yeah the same when i i if i could n- die and figure out one answer before i died it would be if taylor swift mm-hmm. i hope she freaking, releases a memoir like a book s- yes s- after s- she dies it's giving evelyn hugo <laughs> it is okay so anyways we'll go Con- cornelia street yeah then, huh? i'm happy with that okay. um august versus daylight august. yeah thank god <laughs> Thank I love fucking August. God. Long live versus the story of us. I have to go long live just because it's like, that's our song. That yeah. is a fan's song. That's like, it makes me cry. Yeah, every I'll go time. long live. I wish I would have saw it live. Never seen I it know. live. I, Red was my first Taylor Swift tour. So. Cowboy like me versus blank space. I'm going to choose cowboy like me every single time. I hope you know that. Like it's always going to be my choice i don't care what the song is and i honestly i don't have a song yet where i'm gonna fight you on it i don't i don't love blank space enough to be like okay we have to pick it yet okay but you know there may be one where i fight you there might be and so, we're gonna have to we're brawl. gonna have to do we're, we're gonna, gonna have brawl. to square up on that well, well, yeah don't blame me versus this is me trying 
this is me trying, trying because I just have such a no. Deep, I can like, agree with you on that. That song, it it's a little too. Feel. It's very relatable. Oh, so relatable. Um, especially because this is just, like I just me personally mm-hmm. relate to that song so much. Cornelia Street versus August. I'll go August. I'll go August. And then Long Live versus Kelly Like Me. <laughs> That's criminal, actually. But I am going to have to do <laughs> go cowboy like me your other side i'll let you have the other side and we can battle for the last one yes then we can go cowboy like me um this is me trying versus august i'm sorry i'm going this is me trying okay we have to give august up now i love august but this is me trying is too bye august bye august cowboy like me versus this is me trying (laughs) Oh, this is sick. Can we, like, skip to, in like, can we come back to it? Um, let's find out. And, like, make it, like, yes, and make it a dole at the end. Perfect. This is what we needed. Can you, like, press on it? Oh! Oh. (laughs) Uh Uh-oh. Use matchup mode? No, I don't want to do that. don't even. Just, yeah, we'll just pick it now. It's fine. Well, now I have to, like, zoom in all the way. So now we have Sweet Nothing versus Forever Winter. Do you want to go back and pick one or no? I don't know how to. I think we lost that side. That like no that how it was like in the friend center. Oh, I think we yeah, lost why? it. I don't know how to get back to that. Oh, okay, then we'll just. I don't want to risk losing all of our work already. I'm okay with Sweet Nothing over Forever Winter actually. Okay. So are are you good with that? Yeah, no, I'm fine with that. Okay. Then we have Look What You Mean We Do versus London Boy. I I like London Boy. I, I do too. Banger. I do too. Like, I'm I'm a gay bo, but it makes me want to like a London Boy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah, a London Boy will like, make. Like I think a London Boy is the only boy I would. <laughs> your face i think a london boy now is the only boy i would I ever go for these days stories from uni yeah it's yeah. so pop coded but it's so pop coded but also rip because he's gone i know joey boy. no more london boy no more london boy love story versus question i'm going love story just I'll because it's story. like i like so question iconic. though i know i do too for sure but i just feel like it's kind of like a no-brainer to choose love story oh yeah that's like her og Nothing new versus untouchable. Nothing, Nothing new. new. That song hurts my mm-hmm. heart. Should have said no versus Superman. Should've Should've said said no. Should have said no. God, that song is going to do it for me every, every single time. Every fucking time. Every I'm time. Sorry. Every time. Um, Come Back Be Here versus Snow on the Beach. I like both. So I'm not mad about either one. I definitely I, like the version with, with more, more Lana yes. Del Rey in it. I'm in my Lana era right now. I can't stop listening. Really? Yeah. I love that. I know. I really, I don't know what that says about me, but I'm really, I'm, <laughs> I'm enjoying her music right now. Um, let's do Snow on the Beach. Oh, perfect. Tim McGraw versus You're Not Sorry. Ooh. I'm going Tim McGraw. I fucking love that song. I'm not going to argue, but I do just want to put on the record that I love You're Not Sorry. Oh, absolutely. But I'll go Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw's just nostalgic at this point. Uh, you think Taylor Swift is going to be her last one that she releases mm, as her re-record? Either that or Reputation. You think? I feel like because you know in the Bejeweled music video, there's like evidence. Um, it's like the the buttons tell us the order. Yes. And I think Reputation's last. Honestly, some of the red, some of the her re-records, I rather listen to the original. Yeah, I mean you can. I, I I I don't want to. Yeah. But like, stay, stay, stay on red. I think is so much more like. Co- or um, she doesn't have the same passion in some of them. Yeah. Does that make sense? No, that makes or, sense. Like, I know a lot of people better worship- than revenge. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. I know you're right. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, high infidelity. We were happy. I'll go high infidelity. Me too. I don't love. We were happy. Yeah, I me mean neither. Illicit affairs versus Wonderland. <laughs> I love Wonderland. I do too, but illicit affairs. Come on. Okay, I'll do go illicit affairs. I do love that song too. I just I yeah. love a Wonderland. No, I do. I and do. I, I and do I'm actually love really excited for 1989 vault songs. They're gonna be bad yeah. in Reputation. She's yeah. And oh my god, yeah. Yes. Betty versus Haunted. Betty's a little crick coded too. Yeah. But Haunted. I have to go haunted. Okay, we could go haunted, but I love. Betty. I do and love I Betty. Love, I loved the storytelling. Like, oh my god, yeah, I love it. I love it. Mirrorball versus I bet you think about me. 
I love I Bet You Think About Me. I think it's a really awesome song. But Mirrorball, come on. I'm a fucking Mirrorball. (laughs) I'm I'm a Mirrorball. Okay, I'll go I'll go Mirrorball, but I love I Bet You Think About Me because I had an ex that I would sing that about. So Oh yeah, I sing that about all my exes actually. Yeah, I bet you think about me, yeah. Labyrinth versus happiness. Ooh. I'll go happiness. That song reminds me of like kind of being in the closet a little bit. Oh, well, I don't really, I can't relate to you, but I hear you and you see me. So I, I see you. So we'll I don't do know. Happiness. Just some of the lyrics. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Yeah. Last kiss versus you belong with me. <coughs> That's tough. That's really hard. And I don't really want to choose. You belong with me. Never misses. Like I said before about the other song, mm. I have to look, I have to be in the mood to listen to last kiss. Okay. But you belong with me. Always hits. Mm hmm. Okay. That's valid. That's a valid argument. Wildest Dreams versus The Lakes. I will say I if The Lakes has one fan, it's me. I love The Lakes. I love The Lakes. But Wildest Dreams, the the electric guitar version that she played at the Grammys <laughs> Museum, amazing. Fuck. Which one are we going to pick? I'm happy with either. I think the lakes is definitely underappreciated. It is, but I think I want to go wildest dreams. Okay, okay. I'll go with that. Um, per- Mr. Perfectly Fine versus Dear John. Dear John. Dear John. Every time. Every we don't even need to. Time. We don't even need to fucking discuss that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna choose that song over anything. I'm ready going, for it versus I'm going change. Ready for it. Yeah. I'll My cousin got married and she walked out to like the base of Ready for It. Oh, that's like, awesome. It was iconic. That's actually. And we all like all the bride. I was a bridesmaid. That's all amazing. of us walked out to it, did our like little thing. That would be my walkout song. Yeah, I It was so iconic. Wow, that's awesome. Exile versus The Way I Loved You. I'm good. I love Ex- If there's one fan of Exile, it's me. I do love Exile. And But The Way I Loved You. It does. It does explain the way you love somebody so well. Yeah, it's like you. You were, you even were the co- screaming crazy. and crying, okay, yeah, kissing in the that. rain. Okay, yeah, we could do that. Okay, but exile. I do love exile, and it, I love how low. Yeah. Bon Iver gets. Yeah, and he's like, <laughs> Evermore versus the other side of the door. Fuck you for making me choose this. I'm going Evermore. Another With your one. face in the beautiful eyes and the conversation with the little white lies and the faded picture. I know, of but I you. gave up exile with Bon Iver, so I'm All going, right. we're going Evermore. All right. Evermore is a great song, though. I, I Almost Do versus The Best Day. I love Almost Do. Because you almost do it. I know. I almost okay. call you. I do. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. I remember whenever this song first came out, I obviously I was 13 years old, 12 years old. And I really, truly thought I related to this song a lot. Because <laughs> I'm I, dead. Yeah. The Archer versus Willow. I don't love The Archer. I don't love The Archer either. I'm Thank so happy we were God. on the same page. Because I just, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay yeah, that you picked that. I, 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 yeah. I, just, I don't hate it. I'm just, I just probably don't, not going like, to listen to it. I like its message, but I'm not like, in terms of the song itself, I'm not going to really like love it. No, yeah. It's just like. I was. I don't know. I'm not obsessed. Me neither. Afterglow versus Holy Ground. Holy Ground, the bridge of Holy Ground. Please. I love Afterglow. I, I'm sticking. Tell my me that we're still so fine. fine. I know, but I'm. I'm Tell me that'll be just ground. fine. I'm st- even when I lose my mind. You know I, how many times I lose my mind. We know. We all know. I'm still sticking Holy Ground. All right. That that, that is an. I'll under- give it to you. Remember this though. Okay. Remember this. <laughs> okay. Coney Island versus Sad Beautiful Tragic. This is fucked up. This is fucked up. Why do people hate on Sad Beautiful Tragic? I don't know. And I just realized that people don't like it. I don't get I know. I've just realized that too. And every time I've I've been a lover. Distance timing. Breakdown fighting. fighting. Silence. The train's running its tracks. Kiss me trying to fix it. Would yeah. you just try to listen? listen? Yeah. Like, come I'm come I, I, I want to choose that. I want to choose, choose that, that too okay. because I love Coney Island, though. I do. Oh, we were talking about this. Like, yeah, early. Love it. Love it. Love it. But come on. The one versus closure. Fuck closure. <laughs> I like closure. I you don't... like closure and it's nice to have a friend. What kind of music do you like? Listen, I don't love them, but I'm not going to skip them. Well, but I, I love the, the one. one. I'm choosing the one, too. It's a great But I'm great not going to split. Like, I won't like be like, Ugh, closure's on. Like, no, I'll listen. 
Oh, okay. I usually skip it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Tell me why versus paper rings. Paper rings. Ooh, that's... My girlfriend, every time we go out to dinner, makes me a paper ring. Every time. I didn't know she did that. Every oh, time I we go out to her. dinner. It, 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 it literally, it makes me cry. Every time we go... I told her, she, you know, I'm trying to make her a Taylor Swift fan. Yeah. We listened to that's paper so rings. so cute. And I was like... We were talking like one of our very first dates and I was just like, isn't that so cute? Like if someone made you a paper ring every time we've gone on a date now when we go out, she makes me Did a paper she know ring. how to make them beforehand? Or no, did she, she learn? just, she learned. She's very artistic. Um, so now I have like a little like, she, she's also, um, does pottery. Uh-huh. She made me a little like pottery thing God. that I put all my paper rings in now. I'm going to fucking cry. <laughs> well, great segue. You Hi, are babe. in love. <laughs> you are in love versus Ivy, which is tough because i do very much enjoy both i I'll i think do whatever you like i said do. i evermore i think is so underappreciated it is it got lost in her sister's spotlight you're right everybody thought there was going to be a triplet so. i know um i'll do either one if you want me to be honest but you're in love does perfectly describe how I you're best wanna, friends with somebody. I kind of want to do you're in them. love. I'll do that one. Okay. Yeah, we, I've been there, you know. You've been there. I've, I've fallen in love with a best friend before. It's tough. <gasps> better man versus the Great War. I gotta go with better man. I'll go better man. I, I like both of them. I, I do. I, I do. And I, I really do. <laughs> but better man, like, I just, I wish you were a better man. And maybe this would have worked also, out. Also, I love that on her re-record, like that was, what's who? who she did gave she, that she gave that song to um Lady, Little Big Time. Oh, Little Big Time. Yeah, that's what it was. And I love that she like Little Big Town. Little no. Big Town. Yeah. It was yeah Little Little, little Big, Big Town. Town. Yeah. Which they came to they came to Pittsburgh one time in the nineteen eighty nine. I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Twenty two versus Cold as You. Twenty two. Cold as you. You just don't get it okay you just Maybe don't I get need it after this I'm, i'll need to do a re-listen you do and because I'll you're really not, sit down the only reason you're not choosing cold as you is because you just haven't really listened to it okay okay then i'll give it to you 22 but is iconic when though. i turn 22 next april first fucking song i'm listening oh, to it, is obviously 22. it was the first thing i did yeah good um maroon versus sparks fly maroon yeah you know it took me a couple listen i was on tiktok when Midnight's came out, and I was like, "Why does everybody love this song? Like, I think it's okay." And then I really sat down. Mm-hmm. You have to and soak like, it in. Soaked it in like mm-hmm. steak soaks in like juices. Yeah, like digest it. Yeah, you and then chew I chew it, it up, swallow it, and shit it out. Then and I and then got you get it. it. Yes. Yeah. Don't you versus Lavender Haze? I, I love, love Lavender, Lavender Haze. Haze. I fucking love that song. I it, I, it like started and I was like, "Fuck!" Ooh, I was like, like the beat starts. And you're like, oh. You know, I was in my bed. I had um. 5 45 a.m practice mm, the next morning mm-hmm. stayed up first fucking song that blares in my ears is <laughs> and i'm like holy shit because i didn't know because we just got folklore and evermore which is like sad and really like lyrical and then midnight <coughs> just makes me laugh yeah. she busts out lavender yeah. Haze first fucking song she busts out lavender haze and karma and to, I, for me to sh- shake my, my ass my too. my ash is shaking at 1 a.m when i have to be up in four hours yeah all too well 10 minute version versus white horse all too well 10 minute version i will choose that song every fucking time yep stay, stay, stay and you know i queen. told you this i texted you this sorry to interrupt i was like i don't know if i like the 10 minute yeah. version lyrics that much i know but then then you really listen to them and you're like fuck the patriarchy i was like fuck yeah fuck the patriarchy yeah. and then the um the oh when she says i kept you a secret but you kept me a secret but i kept you like an oath Silence. 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 Silence in the crowd. Uh, stay, stay, stay versus clean. 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 Absolutely. I, d- I do love stay, 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 though. I played, I sang it with, for the talent show, and I, I s- just, like, sang it too much, and I just don't like it anymore. <laughs> Mad Woman versus Tolerate It. Tolerate It. All right. There's the end of that one. Perfect. Then we go back up here. This is an amazing bracket. I know. Wow. Someone really put their whole puss into this. <laughs> Thank you. Sweet Nothing versus London Boy. Mm-hmm. I, I'll, be, I'll be content with either one. I like Sweet Nothing. Okay. Sweet Nothing. Um. Then we have Love Story versus Nothing New. Like I said, I'll be content with either one of those two. I like Nothing New. 
Okay, we'll go with I that. I think it's just a little too relatable. Should have said no versus snow on the beach. Should have said no. Yeah. I'm going to agree with you on that one. Then we have Tim McGraw versus High Infidelity. Tim, Tim McGraw. McGraw. Then we have Illicit Affairs versus Haunted. Mm. I don't like that. I don't like that either. I'm fine with either. Ooh. I'm going to go Illicit Affairs. Okay. I like the lyrics more. Yeah. Mirrorball versus Happiness. Okay. All We're right. back. Sorry, my phone ran out of storage there. Um, Mirrorball versus Happiness. I'm going Mirrorball. Okay, I'll go Mirrorball. Because we have to speed run this now. I have a meeting in 20 minutes. Um, you Belong With Me versus Wildest Dreams. Wildest Dreams. Okay. I can get jiggy with that. Okay. Dear I have a John, this is gonna happen. We we're talk- I know we're, we're talkers. talkers. Yeah. Ugh, at the end of the day, we're gonna talk. Dear John. Yeah. Dear John versus ready for it, and I'm gonna choose Dear John every single day. The way I loved you versus Evermore. I'm good with either one. We can. I'll go Evermore. It's okay. a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song. song. I almost do versus Willow. I almost do. Yeah. Come on. I know. I know. I get it. I hear you. I and I understand, and I and I hear you. Sad, beautiful, tragic versus holy ground. Now, I like both of those. I love I do. both of them. I do. I'm gonna choose holy ground because it's gonna make me shake my ass. Okay, perfect. But um, respect to sad, sad beautiful, beautiful tragic. tragic. Yeah. The one versus paper rings. Paper. Um, you are in love versus better man. I'll go either one. I better want man? better man. Okay, better man. I love that fucking song. I'm never gonna skip it. Cold as you versus maroon. 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 Lavender Haze versus All Too Well. All Too Well. Every fucking time. Yeah. I'm picking it. But RIP to Lavender Haze. Clean versus Tolerate It. I'm going to choose Clean. I'm going to choose Tolerate It. Oh, bitch. Watch me tolerate it. But, like, clean, if it's like, all in you're my in. Head, a- tell me now. Come on. I know. Okay, no. I, I get it. I get it. But here's the thing with clean, it's like you get out of a bad relationship. And, and you're clean of it. I get that. But I'm gonna. T- I'm the type. I'm a fucking people pleaser. Okay, every fucking time I'm gonna tolerate something right. from someone. I'll give you tolerate it, but Thank just you. remember that. Just rem- <laughs> and I also gave you paper rings too, so let's okay. keep that in mind here. <laughs> okay, like I gave you like twenty on the other side. Okay, yeah, that's true. Um, and then we have. We're back up. Amir- Where are we? Okay. We are. Jesus We're done. Christ. Yeah, we are almost done. Um, what is that? Snow- nothing new versus. Sweet nothing. I'll do nothing new. I'll do nothing new too. Then we have should have said no versus Tim McGraw. Should have said no. Should have said okay. no. Come on. Yeah, I, no, I like Tim I McGraw, it. but come on. Listed affairs versus Mirrorball. I'll let you pick this one. I'm happy with Mirrorball because I should have said no. Think I. You're a Mirrorball. I, as yeah, you are. A I really am. I really am. Wildest dreams versus Dear John. Dear, Dear John. John. I agree um fuck john fuck john mayer what do we have here who was she evermore oh okay versus i almost do i'm happy with either one and i'll let you pick this one i, I like i do. love both okay oh i really i thought you were yeah. gonna go evermore i Perfect. think it's just a little too relatable okay I'll... holy ground versus paper rings this is gonna be hard for you. I'm pretty indifferent to it. Really? Yeah. I mean, like I, I I'm fine with either. The other day. I mean, all alone and alone took me away. But but paper I rings. I like shiny things, but I'll marry you. With I am rings. leaning oh towards holy ground. Oh my god! I'm so sorry for my saying. Okay, I'll go holy ground. Paper rings. I love you though. Yeah. Kisses. Mwah. Better man versus maroon. maroon. <laughs> We're about to fight right now. Maroon. <laughs> She describes the color red without ever saying okay. red. Five different ways. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. All too well versus tolerate it. What do you want? What would you pick? Probably all too well. Okay, me too. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right. There's that. We're we're getting into we're the get, semis we're, here. I know. We're <laughs> the semifinals. <laughs> all right. Um, We have. Nothing new versus, versus should have said no. I want to go nothing new. Okay, fine. I'll give you that one because you've given me a couple. Okay. But should have said no is what it. I would pick. Okay. Um. Then we have 
what is it? Tim McGraw. No, or, we, we picked. Uh, we, is yeah. it Mirrorball and Mirrorball versus Ten all, Dear John? Ooh, I'm going Dear, Dear John. John. You have it's to. It's pretty iconic. You just have I know. To. I know. Sadly, um, I almost do versus. I think that oh, Holy Ground. Holy Holy Ground. Yeah, agreed. Then we have Maroon, Maroon versus, versus <gasps> Ten Minute Version, girl. We have to go 10 minutes. Yeah. Version, I think it's just her most iconic song. I know. And, and I the agree fact that you. she just went in the studio and recorded that. I know. Fucking nuts. I know. All right. Then we have. This is the semis. That was the quarter. Oh, so sorry. Holy ground versus. I am um, or all too well. All too well. Yeah. Um, Is that it? For no, that you one? have to go up. Okay. And then. Go, no, go up, Lily. Oh, go up. Oh, 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 oh. Dear John versus um, Nothing New. Dear, Dear John. John. Is okay, there, so is now there another one? No, no, that's it. Okay. So what? Is it Dear Cowboy Like Me versus Dear John? No, no, it's oh, down. Oh, okay, oh, so oh. <laughs> all Too Well versus Dear John. <gasps> oh, Dear John. Really? I'm going All Too Well. Oh, come on. I'm going All Too Well. I'll let you have Cowboy Like Me if you do All Too Well. Okay. So now, oh, where'd it go? Where did it go? So this. So try to drag it, maybe. And that are yes. battling right now. Yeah. Okay. So maybe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're okay, perfect. Okay, okay. Okay. Now on the other side. Okay. It's. <laughs> it is. Cowboy, Cowboy like, like me. me versus. This is me trying. <laughs> you said I could have Cowboy you like d- me. I did. I'll give you that. But no, I love this is me trying. Now. It's Cowboy Like Me versus All Too Well 10 minute, 10 minute Version, which I had a feeling this, this is, was going to happen. Yes. Make your case. Okay. You, well, you kind of already made your case. I did make my but case. But my case is, well, it's a 10 minute song, number one. How did she come up with that many lyrics that she does? She rarely repeats herself. The lyrics are just crazy. And you it, precisely know <laughs> that that song was written in heartbreak and tears on the paper all all she knew all too well like in the music video come on the short film but you know i think maybe we should just leave it like that and not have a winner okay (laughs) i'm okay with that because you have my i have that's that's your winner and that's my winner yeah perfect okay that's fine i love that for us okay perfect yeah that's fine we don't need to choose i don't think we'll convince each other because yeah. we are both very stubborn people yeah those those are our winners individually our winners or, and yeah. i'm happy with that i'm i like both of them agreed for all right sure that's a good ending that is i'm great. happy thanks so much for doing this with me Thank i have to go you. to a meeting now yeah i know and do things i know an actual job uh, yeah it's hard. whatever but thank you for having me this was literally so much fun oh my god of course thank you so much for being here and doing this with me um, i've been begging so i'm so happy everyone say bye bella we love you <laughs> <laughs> um if you want follow the pod on instagram at argue with the wall the with is a w and then subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're watching. What's going on? I love it. Um, Do it all. It's great. It's amazing. I love this. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Adios. I'll be listening in. Adios. <laughs> Adios. <laughs>